Suicide Squad issue 6 finds Walla finally happy to find Earth 3, knowing that she sent Bloodsport to dozens of worlds in the multiverse to find recruits, but he got sloppy while kidnapping Black Siren and they have been taken hostage by Ultraman, the insane Superman of Earth 3. But in finding Earth 3, she found what she always needed, a world that needs saving, saving by her. The Suicide Squad meanwhile try and take down the villain Night Terror trying to take her alive since she is to join the team, with the team assuming that she is coming with them to Earth 3. Night Terror says that she isn't going anywhere but Superboy punches her down, saying vibration is her power but too bad for her since he's the only one who can keep up with her. Superboy throws the vault door at her, forcing her to vibrate through it and allowing the team to grab her and inject her, knocking her out. They get ready to head back to base when they are teleported directly to Walla. Superboy is impressed, asking how it works but Walla says that it does work and that's all that matters. Dr. Rodriguez takes Night Terror, asks how long she needs to equip the team for their trip to Earth 3, so the doctor says that they need 12 hours but Walla gives her one. Superboy remembers how Walla said that Earth 3 is evil, but that doesn't change who he is and he'll rescue Bloodsport but he won't kill. Walla knows he'll do what it takes or he'll die. Night Terror meanwhile comes too as Dr. Rodriguez begins cutting into her head, telling her that she'll survive this. Peacemaker meanwhile contacts Walla, with his team tracking down Swamp Thing by cutting down a chunk of his forest and cutting it off from him, wanting to follow whatever communications are still coming through the plants back to the source thanks to Prescott's handy tech. Agent Parker knows that Swamp Thing will be a great addition to the team which is why he surprised Peacemaker is out there with the D-Team. Walla knows that getting Swamp Thing is merely an added bonus since while she can't prove it, she thinks that Peacemaker helped Rick Flag escape. She knows that Peacemaker is a maniac and Parker thinks that he is her kind of maniac. Walla isn't impressed telling Parker that he is an excellent member of the team and maybe one day he will be leading this outfit and only then he'll see what it takes to keep the peace and what it costs you in the process. Wally gives the squad some armbands with Calibra wondering if it's Valentine's Day yet again. Wally says that thanks to Night Terror's generous donations, they were able to outfit them all with high vibrational bands. She's told to cut the crap by Nocturna, so Wallace says that the bands will stop their brains from melting, but it won't keep them safe for very long, maybe only an hour. As the teleporter activates, Waller demands they get Bloodsport and Black Siren. The team arrive on Earth 3, and Talon immediately falls ill. Superboy tells him to get on his feet and they'll get him back to the medbay when they get back to Bell Rev. The team get ready to head out as they realise that they are in a version of Metropolis. As they traverse the city, Calibra wants to talk about what Red X told them but Superboy wants to know what Nocturna knows about him. The woman says that there is no difference between Walla and Red X and they both were trolls but Walla is doing something to Superboy and his mind, not knowing what it is but she asks Nocturna to snoop around in his brain but it's cloudy. Calibra wonders what that means and Nocturna knows it's like she's controlling Superboy and what he can't remember. She asks Connor if he remembers being taken into custody by Walla but he cannot. Branch knows that she's manipulating all of them, telling them how she promised him a cure but he still hasn't seen it. As they talk, Connor tells them to get down as Ultraman blasts the rooftop, asking which one of them has his kryptonite. Superboy tells Branch to get Bloodsport who is down in the alley below as Ultraman slices Connor with his heat vision. Nocturna attacks but is thrown from the roof but Branch manages to catch her, lowering her down into the alleyway but it leaves him vulnerable. Ultraman grabs Branch, ripping him in half and burning him into ash. He says that there is no reason for all of them to die, wanting them to just chill out as he uses his freeze breath to the freeze the squad. He demands more kryptonite and if they give it to him, they will all live. Nocturna returns with Black Siren under her control, using her powers to blast Ultraman down as Bloodsport fires on the villain. Calibra gags and binds Black Siren as Superboy is contacted by Walla who says that Ultraman's comms blocker is down and the extraction portal is nearby. Superboy knows they are almost out of time and they need to leave now, but he'll deal with Ultraman. Ultraman attacks, saying that he can see Connor is nothing but a clone and an abomination, wondering if that's all that represents Krypton on his pathetic world. He knows that Superboy is weak as well, knowing that he might as well have to pay a visit to Earth Zero now as well. Connor says that won't be happening and what he's done to this planet is an abomination and now his reign will end since Walla is coming for him and Superboy will be the last thing Ultraman sees. Calibra makes it to the portal with Talon who surprisingly asks the woman for help, shocking her. Calibra
Libra knows he must definitely be feeling bad if he's talking normally now as she heads through the portal. Bloodsport rushes for the portal as well, telling Nocturna that the portal is closing and they need to leave before their brains melt. Nocturna wants to help Superboy however but is pulled into the portal by Robert. Waller tells Superboy to abort the mission and get back to the portal as Dr. Rodriguez notes his vitals are off the charts and he's fracturing, so they need to get him the injection now. Waller demands that Superboy return home or she will kill him herself. Rodriguez says that she needs to be calm since not everyone has a bomb in their head that can be used to motivate them. Waller stops, telling Superboy calmly that this isn't right and he doesn't kill because that's who he is since he's Superboy. Connor stops his attack short of killing Ultraman, who takes the opportunity to hit the boy in the face, calling him pathetic. Superboy races off towards the portal, flying into it as it closes, preventing Ultraman from following him through. Superboy finds that the team have been dumped in the middle of nowhere Russia in one of their secret cities. Bloodsport asks what they are doing there but Wallace says there's no time since they need to find the hidden bunker underneath them and give the medicine that's inside to Superboy. Superboy says he doesn't need any medicine, he needs answers and a voice says they do as well as it's revealed the voice belongs to the real Superboy who asks who the hell the Superboy on the Suicide Squad is.